thunderstorm warning for the following counties, both in Indiana. Floyd County and the southern half of Clark County. Here is Floyd, the southern half of Clark County. Here is the line of very heavy thunderstorms that has issued, uh, that has prompted the issuance of that warning. It remains in effect until 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Now, this severe thunderstorm warning affects Floyd County and the southern half of Clark County in Indiana. To bring you up to date while we have you here, severe thunderstorm warning is also in effect in, in Indiana for Harrison County, Indiana, until 9.30, along with Breckenridge and Meade counties in Kentucky. We've been watching this line of very heavy thunderstorms for several hours now. It has produced some very gusty winds. About 10 minutes ago, some strong wind and dime-sized hail were previously under a severe thunderstorm warning, and they'll remain under a warning until 10 o'clock tonight. This, uh, thun this group of thunderstorms has already produced hail an inch and a half in diameter out at Brandenburg in Meade County. Also up in northern uh, Harrison County at Palmyra, hail the size of dimes was reported about uh, 40 minutes ago or something like that. So again, Bullitt County, along with Hardin County, Jefferson County, and Oldham counties, all in Kentucky, under a severe thunderstorm warning until 10 o'clock tonight. Here's the line of thunderstorms. It's about to approach the Ohio River. We'll continue to keep you informed. issued by the National Weather Service. This came from the National Weather Service office. It was issued on the basis of a radar sighting out of Nashville. They have to use radar sightings from other cities because once the storm moves into the metropolitan area itself, a great deal of it gets obscured by the heavy rain and also by the ground clutter. But the Nashville radar, here is Nashville, the Nashville radar was showing a, a very definite tornado uh, formulation right in the western part of Jefferson County. That is on the basis of which the National Weather Service office here in Louisville very wisely issued the tornado warning that remains in effect until 10.30, uh, about another 21 minutes or so. Now then, the Jefferson County Police Department told our newsroom about five or 10 minutes ago that they confirmed a touchdown four miles into Jefferson County, just over the Hardin County line. Now then, that is all the information we have, and that was passed on to our newsroom for the Jefferson County, Kentucky Police. This is a radar view looking up from Nashville toward the storm area. You can see that, that it's showing up very plainly, uh, the leading edge of the very heavy storm approaching the Jefferson County, Kentucky area. I have some more information being handed me right now. Um, we have um, a sighting also reported in the uh, western part of Louisville. And that confirms uh, uh, what the initial sighting was or the initial radar observation indicated that the tornado was in western Jefferson County. So far, as I said, only one confirmed touchdown, though, and that is according to the Jefferson County Police. And that was the information that was passed on to our newsroom. Very heavy thunder, lightning, and heavy rainfall occurring in much of the Channel 32 viewing area now. For those of you outside the immediate Louisville metropolitan area, we remain under a tornado watch until 2 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Needless to say, we have news crews out. We will interrupt as necessary to bring you up to date. But I did want to, at this point, explain to you the basis under which the tornado warning for Jefferson and Bullitt counties was issued by the National Weather Service here in Louisville. That's it for the moment from the Channel 32 Weather Center. Weather Service office. So. What we have is a tornado watch that remains in effect for the entire Channel 32 viewing area until 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now then, the storms that move through here are moving on down to the south, and as a result, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Henry, Nelson, Shelby, and Spencer counties in Kentucky. This would include the cities of Eminence, Bardstown, Shelbyville, and Taylorsville. That uh, severe thunderstorm warning will remain in effect uh, until 11.30 tonight. That's from the National Weather Service. Now then, as far as the tornado activity in Jefferson County, uh, the tornado warning was originally issued on the basis of a radar observation. Dave Reeves told me this about 10 minutes ago. They saw a hook echo. That's how a tornado shows up on radar, in the form of a hook echo. They saw it on the radar at Stanford Field. 
The uh, office in Nashville also thought that was the reason the original warning was issued. We have had several confirmed reports of touchdowns. So far, no reports of any damage, though, thankfully, within Jefferson County. We, of course, will in keep you informed in the meantime, and we'll have our complete 11 o'clock news coming up just about 22 minutes from right now. That's it for the moment from the Channel 32 Weather Center. The National Weather Service here at Stanford Field. All of the emergency alerts tonight, be they watches or warnings, all of those alerts were issued from the, this office by these people here who were alerting us all to the possibility of severe weather in the area. The meteorologist in charge is Dave Reeves. Dave, were there any tornadoes in our immediate area tonight? We've probably had uh, at least 100 reports of uh, funnel clouds in about 20 counties. We have not had that first report at this time of damage. We're still looking for that. Right. We saw a hook on our radar uh, at about uh, 20 minutes after the hour. Then it moved into our ground clutter. We thought it was a hook. Then Nashville radar called and confirmed it. That's when we put out our warning. Most of the warnings have been based on, for instance, uh, Meade County called in and said they had an inch and a half in diameter hail. Uh, we put out a warning. Crawford County Sheriff over in Indiana said they had hail and, and uh, uh, strong winds. We put out warnings. That's, but as of right now, we, we have not had that first report of someone calling in and say there's a tree down or roof damage. So based on radar sightings here and in Nashville and also some uh, on-the-scene reports by uh, agencies involved, that is a reason to notify everyone that there could be a tornado in the area. Yeah, most of our warnings have been severe weather, I mean uh, severe thunderstorm warnings. Yeah. And uh, three-quarter inch hail uh, is the criteria we use for severe thunderstorm warnings. So that most of our warnings have been severe thunderstorms. Yes. Thank you, Dave. Uh, these uh, folks will be out here all night uh, keeping track of the weather to make sure that uh, none of the nasty stuff gets by without us being alerted to the fact. And we will have uh, reports throughout the night if they warrant, and also in the morning show. Back to you, Rudy. It is somewhat ironic that exactly 15 years ago today, we lived through the worst outbreak of tornadoes in the history of this nation. About an hour after the weather broke here in Louisville, I went up in a helicopter to capture what was left of an area on film. For those of us who lived through the April 3rd tornado, these pictures will forever be etched in our minds. I have a funny string of memories, things like uh, finding Christmas tree ornaments that weren't ours in the bedroom where there was a full maple tree. And uh, I remember a piece of cassette tape that was in the remains of one of the trees out on the court that I think just in the last couple of years disappeared. The 1974 tornadoes ripped through 14 states in all, killing 73 people here in Kentucky alone. A busy night you've had out there tonight. Indeed. We're not done yet. It's heavy rain here now, but we hope and believe the severe weather is over for the night. But as Mike said, we'll be staying in, in, in here and keeping you informed. From what we could hear, because the weather was really breaking up his audio there. Right. Thanks, Reed.